Hey everyone, what's going on? And welcome to a small video on late game soul farming in Dark Souls 3. Now for this particular method you will need to have uh, unlocked Arch Dragon Peak and the second bonfire which is the one we're currently at, the Dragon King Mausoleum. Right, so the method that we're going to use today is literally just in this next room here from the bonfire. Up the stairs there is a Dragon Mage enemy who if you leave alive will continually summon um, allies to help them. Now all we're going to do is repeatedly kill these allies in the same spot that they spawn in. So we're just going to stand behind them, backstab them, finish them off, wait for them to summon another one in. Now uh, through a bit of testing I've found that I can get a kill like every 15 seconds or so. And I'm currently rocking the Silver Serpent Ring and the Shield of Wand and I'm getting 5,280 souls per kill. Obviously your mileage might vary a bit based on whether you've got these or whether you've got the symbol of avarice and so on and so forth and how quickly you can get a kill. But this is a very efficient way to farm souls in the late game. Right, so I would recommend having a very hard hitting weapon, hence why I'm using the Dragon Slayer Great Axe. And seeing as you will be backstabbing every enemy that summons in the Hornet Ring. Also I've found that Lloyd's Sword Ring also helps a great deal. Right, so, let's go. So there you go, you can hear the bell. And here's the help summon in. So all we do is get the bag backstab off. Finish them off. There we go. There's our souls. And we just wait here for the next one to summon. And it really is as, uh, as simple as this. Now it is worth noting that you do only get souls from this particular method, you don't get any any drops. But as you can see, it's only taken me about 15 seconds or so per kill. Which uh, is roughly roughly around 20,000 souls a minute, give or take, you know, a couple of thousand. Now doing this method, it's, uh, it's totally possible that you can keep this kind of speed up to get well over a million souls an hour. And obviously if you can go faster than that then the benefits will be even greater. One caveat with using this method though is um, if you haven't actually killed Havel in this area sometimes he can be summoned in as the help and he's a lot tougher than your bog standard enemy here. So that will fuck with your farming efficiency. But like I say if you do manage to find him and kill him within Arch Dragon Pig then he'll stop being summoned by the enemies occasionally and it'll just be these dudes constantly. Yeah, so I like to say, just a quick recap, all you want is hard hitting weapon, hornet ring, sword rings, you know, isn't necessary but it does help and you're just trying to backstab them, finish them as quickly as possible and just repeatedly kill them and don't kill the, the mage enemy up here. And that's all there is to it. So there you have it. A quick, easy way of uh, farming souls in the late game. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you next time.